Welcome back to my channel everybody, it's Paparazzi and today I have a Mod Monday where I go over five mods that I like and I think you might like too, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced player. Beginner players can learn a lot about the game using these mods and an advanced player can spice up their game again if they don't already know about these mods and they're looking for something new. If you're interested in new mods, stick around for this video, you don't want to miss it. All right, like I said before, we're gonna go over five mods that I enjoy, and we're gonna start off in no particular order with the Show Me Origin Mods by Star Plus Serp. If you go down to here, you can configure your mod, and it has quite a few things you can do to this mod. It has a food style, whether it's long, undefined, or short. Then you have the food properties order. I think they misspelled this, indefined. Interface, Wakia. Then you have your estimate still, status which is undefined no or yes show food units we have undefined no yes and forbidden show tool uses undefined no yes forbidden language we have auto english russian simple chinese traditional chinese brazilian portuguese polish korean and spanish then you have your chest colors red green and blue which all have a percentage between zero to a hundred and increments of ten as you see here Now the next mod that we have is the food values item tooltips server and client. And this is by Craig D. Wilson. Now let's go down to the configure mod. Well, we have the language. We have either English, French, German, Russian, Spanish, or Italian. Then we have here the minimal mode. We have that either on or off. Enable client brute force on or off. Replace icon percentage on or off show damage on or off show uses on or off fuel item time format. We have minutes and seconds. We have clock segments and then we have both off or off. And then we have show temperature either on or off show armor conditions either on or off show armor defense either on or off and show armor type either on or off show insulation on or off remaining fire burn time on or off. And you can move those around as you see fit. Now, I'm going through these configurations real quick just to show you the options that are available. Now, if you want to see these options in practice, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will make a video highlighting that particular mod only and going over it in, in greater detail. But for right now, we're just going to be brushing over them real quick. Then we have the Epic Health Bar. Moving on to the configuration mode, we have two simple configurations. We have the Combat Timeout which is default to 10 seconds, but I like to disable it because when I'm fighting the bee queen and, and I'm cheesing the bee queen, she is no longer targeting me. So after 10 seconds, I'm going to lose her health bar. I'm not going to be able to see it. And as she's moving around, it's going to be hard for me to see her health bar or to know if she's about to die. So I like to disable this one so that it stays up there until she's dead. And we have the trigger distance. We have as low as five units and as high as 60 units and then it breaks apart at 70 units so i like to keep it at the default 20 units that's good enough for me it seems to work out fine next we have damage indicators together and in the configurations we have show damage only on or off display mode we have bouncy we have waving we have straight amount of numbers we have low default or high show decimals for either no numbers low numbers or all numbers number size we have tiny default or huge and last but not least we have a client mod known as geometric placements now let's jump into the configuration of this one this one has quite a few so we have here controller turns mod on or off Option buttons from A to Z, toggle buttons from A to Z, in game menu on or off, show build grid on or off, grid geometry, square, diamond, X hexagon, Z hexagon, flat hexagon, pointy hexagon, refresh speed from 10 all the way to unlimited. And then we have hide placers on or off. Then we have hide cursor items, show all, show numbers, hide all. Then we have fine grid sizes in increments of two from zero to 20. 
and then wall grids um, an increments of one from zero to ten sandbag grid size on an increments of one from zero to ten turf grid size an increments of one from zero to five and then unblock color block color nearest tile color unblock tile color block tile color unblock placer color block placer color are all as follows green blue red white black outline white and outline black or hidden these all have the same options and then we have the tighter chest we have yes and no and we have controller offset on or off now like i said if you like me go into greater detail with these options i can do that in a separate video so feel free to put that in the comments below and i'll be more than happy to go over a specific mod for you in great detail let's go ahead and jump straight into the server so we can see these mods in action for this demonstration we're just going to stick to the basic character wilson and here we have his newest outfit with the leaves in the hair leaves in the pocket and it's all wrinkly and with the new glasses i like this one we're gonna go ahead and use this one for the demonstration all right for starters we have the show me mod the show me mod is a hover over mod and if you hover over something it tells you you can pick the flower it shows you that you have a butterfly and if you can follow him it tells you his hp is one this bird has an hp of 25 it's a red bird let's move over to something else we have here flint pick up flint tells you grass tells you one unit of twig and then it tells you this is the carrot and this is a berry bush now we're going to go ahead and show you the food values mod it shows you here while it's in the ground that is a carrot once you pick it up and it's in your inventory it shows you more information it's a carrot you can eat it by doing the right mouse click and then it shows you right below that a question mark 12.5 question mark one now that's actually an error so don't worry about that below that is more detailed version of that error it tells you the hunger is plus 12.5 the sanity is zero and the health is plus one so if i were to eat this i would gain 12.5 hunger i will lose and gain no sanity and i will get plus one health and it spoils in 10 days and as you can see it just dropped down to 9.9 .9 days and there's one unit of veggie and that information is key for when you're using the crock pot crock pot utilizes each thing a specific way so this is registered as one veggie now you have large meats you have small meats you have veggies you have things like that and this is the information that you're going to need for those crock pot ingredients and crock pot recipes now we're going to move over to this flower this flower has this is a petal now and it has um zero hunger zero sanity and plus one health so eating this will not fill your stomach so if you are starving and you're taking damage from starvation you will not be saved by eating this flower it also will not make you go crazy nor will it make you sane if you are crazy but it does heal you for one hp and as you may or may not have noticed from the flowers and i'll pick another flower but the flower does not have a unit so you cannot put this into a crock pot this does not have a unit so it's not a crock pot item and as you can see here this is one unit of inedible now don't let that fool you if this is a unit it can be put into a crock pot this is actually something that can be put into a crock pot despite the fact that it is qualified as inedible it can be used as a filler for certain items in the crock pot and if you'd like to know more about recipes in the crock pot again leave a comment down below and i'll do a video explaining crock pot recipes and such let's move on to the epic health bar for this demonstration i'm going to need an enemy so we have a spider here what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and craft up a weapon now if you hover over the weapon it shows you as a spear you can unequip it by right clicking it it has a damage of 34 uses 150 damage 34 150 uses of 150 and this guy here has 100 100 hp so if i were to hit him i'm only gonna do 34 so i would have to hit him three times to kill him and he has a strength of 20 and a sanity or drain of 25 
because he has 20 strength and I have no armor on. So if I hit him, I do 34, 34, 34, and he's dead. But 32 was the last one because he didn't have actually 34 HP remaining. It's going to show you whatever ha he has remaining. And if he has more than what you do, it's going to show all of your damage. And if he has less than the damage that you do, it's only going to show you what he has remaining. Also, damage indicator together is what you saw when you saw the numbers. That is the damage indicator together mod. So that was that mod. And we're going to show you another one. This is going to be the geometric placement mod. And this can be demonstrated by placing anything down. For example, if you want to make a garden, you can put that there. Or if you wanted to plant some mushroom planters, you can put it here. And it shows you a grid. This grid is to help you out so that you can line things up perfectly. Without this mod on, your placement is going to be erratic and you're not going to want that. So that's also a good mod. Last mod I have for you is the epic health mod. As you can see, as soon as I aggro Berger, his health bar is shown above on the screen. Now what I could do is lay out some food and he'll eventually calm down. But even though he's calmed down and he's no longer targeting me, I can still see his bar above the screen. Now as long as I stay within range of him, his bar will remain on the screen and I can always see if he's going to die or not. And this is good because a lot of times you might want Bear Drew to fight tree guards. So you're not doing any damage. He's not going to be targeting you and you don't want this to go away. Or you might be cheesing the Bee Queen, having some bunnies kill her or deer clops or something else. And he won't be, they won't be targeting you. So it's good to have this. If I were to go beyond the distance, then it will actually go away. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions or if you would like me to go into greater detail about any of these mods, please leave it down in the comments below. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.